a steep-sided forest, rapidly narrowing as it descended. It was a place that immediately made Madsen nervous. It's the kind of place that just intrinsically leaves you feeling ill at ease because there's not much of an easy way to get out once you get in. Madsen knew that Hoodoo Creek was rife with bear activity, and bears were David Madsen's business. As soon as he reached the bottom of the drainage, he knew that something was wrong. There was the stench of death, a, an incredibly distinctive kind of odor, almost a palpable, thick odor. Madsen tracked the smell to its source. And that's when he saw it. Lying on the forest floor was a severed paw. It was sheared off just above the wrist. From the size, Madsen could tell it came from a large bear. The short claws meant it was a black bear. But where was the rest of it? No other remains were visible. Madsen had spent most of his working life studying bears. In spite of the dangers, he pressed on. One thousand feet away, deeper into the drainage, he made another strange discovery. There was a severed black bear's head. The body was nowhere to be seen. The bear's head was perched on a pile of debris surrounded by sticks and dirt, almost like a display one of the most macabre things I've ever seen. The removal of the head and paws was the sort of thing a big game hunter might do. But what sort of hunter would leave the most obvious trophies and make off with the body? There was only one logical answer. A hunter that wanted to eat it. <laughs> 